If someone borrowed your body for a week, what kind of jiggle the handle tips would you need to tell them so they are not caught off guard? If you squat to look at something on the bottom shelf, you will faint when you stand back up. Proceed with caution. Your right hip is going to hurt in the morning, just gotta lay on your right side and dangle your leg over the bed until your hip cracks. You should be good after that. If not, you gotta do some hip stretches. Be careful touching hot things. You don't really have feeling or circulation in your hands and feet so you'll probably burn yourself before you can feel anything. Don't go to bed too late because you're waking up at 4 whether or not you want to. Don't put the phone up to your left ear. You will hear nothing? You're deaf as shit in it. The blood when you shit is not serious. We are working on it. Does make for easier wiping though. Sometimes your heart will hurt like you are going to die the next minute. Your brain is probably faking it to gain sympathy. Suicidal thoughts are common. Just hide the knives, slap yourself a few times throughout the day, and you should be fine. Pretend your hand is a claw machine and all will be okay. Will sometimes cry randomly. Just slap me. Don't freak out when the penis whistles. It just does that sometimes. Yes, that is pubic-like hair growing on your back. Don't be alarmed. Don't be scared when your elbow bends that way, you're double-jointed. After urinating, you need to shake my handle. If you drink more than two cups of water in a day you won't be able to get off of the toilet because of your bladder, rolling eyes face. My arms do a Michael J. Fox thing a couple of times a day. We don't know why, but put your hands against something stable, like a door frame, for a few seconds and it'll pass. Your left arm will have an odd bump under the skin. Nothing to worry about, just a torn muscle that healed in the wrong place. Always remember the glasses otherwise you will walk into walls. Energy levels will vary. Don't be concerned when one day you just don't have it. Do not under any circumstance brush hair. Your sternum cracks every so often and can be pretty loud. I just diagnosed with endometriosis. Prepare for pain. You are going to want to die all the time. Don't though, I need that back when you're done. Be prepared to enjoy at least one crippling migraine during that week. Look out for the cyst on your tailbone. Try not to touch it on anything or it will feel like you sat on a knife. Enjoy driving all day and working in crawl spaces. I never poop after noon. However, I will poop two to three times every morning and yes there will be urgency. For the love of God, stick to the medical diet or you will be back in the ER. Eat every three hours regardless if you feel hungry or not. Sometimes you'll get a super sharp pain in your chest. It's only momentary, and just do shallow breaths until it passes. Hearing is sensitive, try avoiding screaming babies as much as possible. Nose is horribly bad at smelling things, may need to ask others if something isn't right. Reaction to heat-based pain is fast. Your side will randomly die in agony, do not worry, it's just a kidney stone should pass during your stay. So save that thing for me. When it gets hurting, take a seat in the Olay recliner, should be fine in about 40 minutes. You'll have a headache every other day and your neck is fucked so you can't just move your head around all willy-nilly. Also don't watch any heartwarming animal videos unless you're prepared to weep. Just stay in bed and don't bother. Terry's nothing to gain no matter how hard you try. 
aim a little bit east of the urinal, cause that bad boy streams west. I'm black. I have black people hair. I shed everywhere, and my hair is fine and tightly coiled, so it breaks off very easily. Please do not be alarmed if you're messing with my hair and like little coils get everywhere. Massage your right Achilles if you've been sat down for more than 20 minutes before you stand up. That Achilles is a whiny bitch that just wants attention. After you poop, there is a little more pee left. Wow, Reddit. I am in awe of just how much pain and injuries and illnesses everyone suffers from. Just the baseline level of crap folks have to deal with just to function on a daily basis. I have my litany of medical issues too. I just thought that I was more the exception than the rule. The left shoulder is weak, don't put a lot of weight on it. Right hip has problems too, if it pops and the leg goes numb just wait a couple minutes and it'll wake back up. Take the meds, you'll be okay. If you wake up with both shoulders dislocated and both arms numb, don't freak out too much. It's a 5x slash weak sort of thing. Just wiggle your torso around until your shoulder pop back in. Your arms are going to be a bit numb for the rest of the day, though. Can't do much about that. Your bones crack like you're 85 but surprise you're only 25. Take this medication, your day will be mildly better. Don't worry you can totally swallow all 9 pills in one go. If you pass out after standing up or stretch or basically move don't bother going to a hospital or anything. Just stay on the floor and take deep breaths until your vision clears, and you don't feel like throwing up anymore. Okay so every now and again, your knee is gonna get a really sharp pain? Don't be alarmed, you will be fine. All you've gotta do to get rid of it is plant your foot firmly on the ground and twist your leg so the knee pops. Have fun in my body and don't make too much fun of my micro peen. Mosquito bites are gonna swell to a diameter larger than a soda can and raise about half an inch up. It's NBD, just don't scratch them too much. You have sensitive ears, so take it easy on the TV slash music volume, be prepared to cover your ears anyway from random noises and make sure you bring earplugs with you when you leave the house, especially if you go somewhere loud like a bar or whatnot. Basically, your ears are on fire all the time. I wouldn't tell them anything, I'd just ask if I could follow my body around in their body so I could laugh at how much of a shit time they are having. So many things. Don't lift heavy stuff, your back will go crazy with the slightest provocation. If you decide to crouch down for something, your knees might decide they don't want to get you back up again. You need caffeine in the morning or you'll get a headache. If you get a migraine take the magic prescription medication. Advil ain't gonna do it. I've been doing keto for a year and a half and lost a lot of weight. Please don't fuck that up by gorging on fries and soft drinks. Yeah, you're going to have to camouflage those saddlebags. Good luck with that. Thank you and enjoy your stay. You'll want to throw up every morning, be careful brushing your teeth or you will. The lightheadedness is normal. Wait 5 seconds after standing up every morning or your dumbass is gonna run into a wall when the sun spots blind you. The sweet spot to eat so you don't hurt your stomach but don't make yourself faint is between 9.30 to 11 am. The nausea never goes away, no, but tea helps. The pain is chronic but ebbs. Suck it up bitch you got things to do. Oh, and everything that nature has made, you are allergic to. Don't touch it. Fat F if they get to experience my period. You're going to need to plan your day out around sleep. Yeah, you feel like you want sleep a lot more often than you actually can sleep. But if you don't get sleep, 
you'll start losing your mind pretty damn fast. Make time at night to stare at the inside of your eyelids for about 30 minutes, 2 hours before actually zonking out. Oh, and if something wakes you up in the night, you're gonna have to start all over. So? At any point in time your mind and your body feels like they're disconnected, for example you watch too much TV without moving, just walk around and if you have an anxiety attack, go outside and walk. Walk walk walk. Also don't pay attention to that horrible voice in your head. All they want is for you to suffer which you'll find out. Okay big boy here we go. You might be a little confused by the Popeye forearms it is because you rotate about a 55 inch metal pipe with about 20 pounds on it daily hours at a time. Keep that in mind when you notice the massive callus on your hands. When you shake hands with someone go easy those bare claws have a mind of their own sometimes. If you get a tingle in your pinkies do some hand stretches your tendons are stresses and pushing on a nerve cluster. Bend your fingers back as far as you can and put cold packs on your wrists. Listen don't chew with the right side of my mouth, and yes I know I need to get the tooth fixed but the last time I tried I locked myself in the dentist's bathroom hysterically crying for an hour so for now just chew on the left. Who boy. You are in for a wild ride in this clunker. Be careful with that left knee. It hasn't given out in a year but used to buckle and drop me on the floor every day. Now, this body was just diagnosed with a hernia yesterday, so you have to avoid lifting over 8 pounds or 30 pounds, depending on which doctor you want to listen to. You're gonna have to do anal suppositories twice a day to help the swelling go down so the doctor can take a better look in two weeks. Before you eat anything, consult this handy list of foods that will trigger your IBS and give you explosive diarrhea, and make your left knee give out for sure. Wheat. Corn. Milk. Cruciferous vegetables including cabbage, brussels, sprouts, broccoli, bok choy, kale, collard greens, cauliflower, and more. Make sure you do not eat even a tiny amount of something that contains milk, corn, or wheat, otherwise you will be in unbearable pain for over two weeks. Lastly, if things just don't feel right, worry not, that is the ever steady, crushing weight of gender dysphoria. Good luck sweaty. Good luck. The back is stiff and painful. The right shoulder doesn't work like it used to and will ache all the time. Your left side is going to hurt, but it's a pinched nerve in your back so don't worry. The right side of your neck, face and chest are numb, yet painful to touch. Oh and this body can't control its temperature correctly, so if you get warm the numb areas are going to feel like you have industrial type heating pads set to max strapped to them and you won't be able to cool off for hours. You will feel weighted down by the two oversized melons on your chest, but don't worry, that bra will cut right into your shoulders in support. I find it adds a little spice to the usual ache in the right shoulder. Q-tip the ears before and after shower or they will itch all day. Drink all the caffeine drinks you want, but make sure to chase it with an equal amount of water or after you pee it will hurt for an hour or two. Don't smile too much, makes a nerve in the cheek fire and puts a cramp in the neck. My body works pretty good and is attractive, in very good shape, but has nerve disorders and brain tumors, so you'll feel like you have to pee all the time, there's glass in your left foot when you step, and you'll get random bolts of electrical ice pick fire in your eye, knees, armpits and hands. They strike at approx 11.30 am, 7.30 pm, and those wonderful random zaps throughout the day. Don't worry, though, it's only pain, nothing is actually broken. Good news, don't worry about Novocaine at the dentist, nothing he does can make this body do more than flinch at this point. The body is pretty much fine. The nails on the big toes don't grow in straight, but if I've been keeping up on maintenance it shouldn't give you trouble. The right knee, the one with that gnarly scar, has some screws in it. 
Don't push it too hard and you should be okay. That situation downstairs is just a congenital abnormality, it's nothing to worry about and everything works fine. The brain is where you have to be careful, and I've done some aftermarket edits, so be aware of that and don't fuck with the settings or the whole system will fall apart. If you feel something, just let it run its course and keep the face from showing it. Don't, under any circumstances, try to push it down, or you'll feel like you're on tranquilizers for hours. This may be preferable if you start to panic, which is almost certain to happen at some point. If you catch it early, just do some basic breathing exercises and focus on solutions rather than problems and it should pass. Now, here's the really important part, when you hear mental voices that sound like mine but different, don't freak out. They're there to help. Mostly. The aloof one is, you should listen to whatever he says. The angry one. He means well, but you should take his advice with a grain of salt. He's insistent, but be firm with him and you'll manage. The one that talks like a girl. Is? It's a bit complicated. You might not hear from her at all, and that's okay. If you do, it's probably because you fucked with the settings. Do what she says as long as the aloof one agrees. And, seriously, don't freak out. They all belong there too, and it's nothing spooky, just a few circuits that mimic personality, true development and a lack of neuronal cross-talk. If you happen to do mushrooms while you have the body, you'll see that they're all still me. Anyway, I apologize for whatever circumstances led you to take refuge in my body. Try to have fun, and hopefully your stay won't be too unbearable. I have no depth perception, zero. Can't see in 3D, can't drive. Let's just say anyone who played baseball in my body would be in for a hell of a surprise. Just push really hard with your palm near the base of the skull on your left side, if you can't slide that bone back in place you'll have a headache the whole time. But try not to paralyze yourself. You're going to feel like you're being choked all the time so figure out how to ignore it. If your neck, shoulders, and head start to hurt so bad it makes you nauseous, don't bother with meds, just go to sleep. That usually does the trick. Oh, and if you flex your toes for more than two seconds, you will get a foot spasm. Maybe that happens to everyone. Also just note that if you're wanting to be sneaky or quiet, it won't work because your ankles, legs, and elbows will definitely pop as soon as you stand or lift anything. Have fun with that. Smile. You are either very strong or it's really hard to be gentle. Either way, you are liable to walk through people if you don't watch what you're doing. For the love of God, weave around people where possible. You also have a naturally quiet step. Try to walk a little harder or you sneak up on people. You're hypersensitive to sound and smell. If you see something traditionally loud or smelly, get some distance. Loud things are unbearably loud, and you can't just filter noises like normal. Everything gets an equal amount of your attention span. The jaw catches sometimes. Pull forward on the jaw till it pops back into place. The pain, numbness, and reduced strength in your hands and feet are normal. Your lower back will hurt, also normal. Your left knee may also hurt, nothing you can do about any of this. You need to walk at least 4 miles a day or you won't sleep, oh shit. Saline rinse in the morning with Sudafed daily is required or you will be miserable, more miserable than all the pain listed above. Use the special shampoo and conditioner in the shower or your scalp, slash neck slash back will itch like crazy. Don't use regular soap on your torso, just the shampoo. Good luck and don't forget the walking. Have earphones and a smartphone or laptop handy. Misophonia is real, it's especially bad when being exposed to heavy breathers at the gym and people eating gum like it's cut. 
don't worry about the pain the right foot, it's normal. Be very careful with the right hip while bending over or getting up from the ground, or you'll be in agony for a couple of weeks. It's normal to be breathless working in the yard, the heart is badly damaged and has trouble keeping up. It's fine unless you get dizzy, just lay on the floor for a couple hours and it'll pass. Each morning, midday and night use the sterilized seawater nose spray, or else you won't be able to breathe. When you wake up early you get a stomach ache it will pass. Eyes are at a minus 4 so when you take off your glasses you're not going to see shit. Keep track of those bad boys cause they're hard as hell to find when you can't see. Also, listening to the rapping come off paper silverware is gonna make you wanna throw up, it'll pass. Don't run. You'll twist and buckle your knee and be in extreme pain, double jointed in that knee and can turn it side to side but sometimes goes too far and buckles the knee which fucking hurts. Also crack your neck and knuckles when you feel tense. You'll have a lot of trouble falling asleep, try listening to Bob Ross it'll somewhat help, don't bring up politics around my dad. When your leg falls asleep, don't get up wait a couple of minutes wiggle your toes. Wear glasses or not you'll get a headache. Cannot walk properly. You have to constantly think about it to correct it. Have fun. Edit, also, your jaw will pop out of place if you sleep in any way that puts pressure on your face. This will last for two weeks and make it hard to eat, so try not to do that. Drink loads of water or say goodbye to having fun. The pins and needles constantly in your hands are fine, just deal with it. Eat a lot. The excessive sweating is fine, not many people care. My hair's annoying. Don't pass out. Be careful of the right ankle when you sleep. The mechanics couldn't find the issue, but I believe it to be some sort of soft tissue damage. If it bends back too far a certain way it's going to lock up and hurt like hell. Might go away quickly, might not. Sleep more than I would. Standing up to see a grey tunnel is common if not, just slowly make your way to the floor and lay there, get up slowly in general but extra slow after almost passing out. The neck is a nightmare, so be prepared for some pain and stiffness, the nostrils tend to get full when in dry climates, you can forget about flexibility and one of your toes has a broken nail, so be careful. Your fingers hurting is normal, I got drunk and messed with my joints. Should pass in a few months time. Don't eat food high on glycemic index unless you want a racing heart. Your heart skipping a beat will oftentimes be felt and you will experience a half a second shock and gasp for air during that time. Your feet hurt in the morning until they get acclimated, walk slowly. Stay away from sports that requires you to pivot, jump and land. Oh and no sudden lateral movements. Left knee will buckle. Sprint at your own risk. Upside you will know when it will rains the next day.